Hi everyone and welcome to Big Oggy Golf. Today's video is the start of a whole new year. In fact, it's more than that, it's the start of a whole new life for me. You see, about, well, I'll say about eight months ago, I think it was, I'm not sure exactly on the dates, I have to admit, I did a video on Big Oggy Golf and it was called Too Fat for Golf. And a couple of days ago, someone actually made a comment on it and it was a really lovely comment. And they wrote a really lovely message to me and asked how I was getting on. And if you'd been watching my other channel, The Oggy House, you'll know that after I'd done that video, I then started doing weekly updates of how my weight loss was progressing. And for a couple of months, it was progressing really well. I was losing quite a lot of weight, to be honest. I'd lost over two stone. And that meant I could now play golf better. I was improving my fitness more. But then summer holidays came along I got complacent. I started eating all the stuff that the kids hadn't finished for the school, you know, over their dinners when they were up home from school. And then I got little injuries. And then I thought I'd wait till a couple of weeks later. And then I'd wait till Christmas. And then I've just decided to now today go and weigh myself. And I'm actually heavier now than I was when I started the original idea. I am now a shocking 24 stone and eight pounds. And that's just not gonna be any good for me at all. I've noticed that my gallbladder has been playing up a little bit. I've noticed that I've had some damage on my ribs and that's the back area of where the gallbladder is. So that could also be aggravated by that. And I also know that fitness wise, I've been struggling on a golf course again. So things have to change. And this time we're not gonna mess around. This time we're gonna change properly. Last time I thought I could do it and like I said I got complacent and I was doing too much of it by myself and I let things slip and then I just ignored it and thought nothing would happen and of course it happened, everything went on and it's got worse. This time my wife's involved and she's going to help me out a lot and we're going to plan all our meals, that's every meal, I'm going to be regular meals little and often and start thinking more about what I'm putting into my body you know your body's a machine and if you fill it with crap you know what happens you end up sluggish and well let's be honest you are full of it so we're changing everything that I eat we're changing everything that we think about to do with my body and the exercise and I said what I'm eating and drinking and I'm also um, looking at the Tom Kerridge book Tom Kerridge is a mission star chef who if you live in this country you'll know that he's lost absolutely stones and stones in weight so he set up a new uh, diet plan or well, it's a lifestyle plan not a diet plan and he's produced a great book and it's a tv series and it's getting me to start cooking again which is fantastic i love cooking and it's all about creating low calorie stuff which actually tastes really good and keeps you full for longer and stops you from getting those cravings and just gives you an opportunity to eat you know actually good quality stuff and not filling your body with rubbish and fillers and junk so a couple of days ago we started this we bought the book we've looked at the ingredients list and things we need to get and we've started to change some of the things in the house and started to get rid of some stuff that isn't any good in the house now i know we've got kids so there's always going to be you know sweet things and cakes and biscuits and stuff around but actually I've not needed to even look at it I've done this for like three days now just to get started not had a craving for anything at all I'm actually starting to eat fruit again which is great um, and basically I've just just decided to change the way I think I know I've got an eating addiction and I think maybe that's part of my Asperger's situation that I've got um, I feel that certain times of the day I'm supposed to be eating so I need to eat and actually that's wrong you should listen to your body and decide that only when it wants something to eat then you eat so as I said today I have weighed myself it's a disgustingly horrible 24 stone 8 which is actually heavier than when I started the too fat for golf idea last year but this time we're going to do it properly so there'll be regular updates and You'll just see, hopefully, the progress I get as I get better and smaller. I said I'll always be big Oggy, but I don't want to be giant Oggy and I don't want to be massively fat Oggy. I also don't want to drop dead on a golf course. 
so yeah difficult difficult video for me today but I'm not going to get depressed about what happened last year that was a learning curve and it's taught me a really big lesson so thanks for watching this not a very interesting video for most people but for me this is the start of something small not something big and I'm going to treat myself from time to time so say you know if I hit what I want to hit my my target weight is 19 stone that was what I was used to be when I was uh, playing rugby and did martial arts and stuff and I was quite fit at 19 stone I'm never going to be much smaller than that if I get down into the 19 stone marks then I'm going to go and book a really good game of golf somewhere at one of the best courses in the country so if you've got any ideas about which course I should select and if a, another three of you want to come and play on that day it'll be sometime in the summer I hope but we'll see when it'll be keep me posted so keep supporting me sorry it's not a very interesting video today but it's an important video for me and you know, give it a thumbs up like I said keep supporting the channel subscribe to the channel tell your friends things are going to change and they're going to start with me thanks for watching beat you all again soon Bye for now.